Hi and welcome to my channel at Bunny Hollow Crafts. Welcome all new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. I do appreciate that. I found my small magnets. I'm going to use black paper and cover the or mat anyway the album remember this is the one that we made and doing the flip through we found this stuck and it was like crazy I, I don't know I still don't know because I rewatched the video and I had already you know done this and and this and and we'd looked and nothing was sticking and then later I mean that's just that makes me sick but you can cover it and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put small magnets in here so let's just get going with it and, and get that done first so let me move my black paper out and let's check is that the only place we want to do it if we put see how this page when you turn it that falls open now if we closed it like this that wouldn't happen see it naturally holds it um, this will be naturally held down this would go so I think that one to stick there too but it I don't know it's fine it didn't really do anything other than make a noise um, we could put a thing here and then um, I think that's long enough it will hold and then of course magnets there and this is all good and then the black will cover up my ink smudges I just can't believe I did that <laughs> anyway all right where would the first magnets go we're gonna go with here so let me pull out a scrap and my brand new cutter maybe this will help me get some straight cuts I looked on Amazon the last time I would bought one of these why won't that come out was 2017 what's the trick okay that's new and so maybe my arm was lazy I don't know but anyway let's just cut down this scrap um, gosh everything is stuck what are these new bells and whistles there okay i want to cut this a little thinner to i don't know whatever you want let's go two and a half. Oh, that's smooth that's that's nice okay i'm liking this and we did the last one to five um i don't think we need that bigger one let's pull this in um I want to fold it and have it go under there. I'm going to cut it right where my thumb is. <laughs> so somewhere in there. Rather it be too long than too short. We can always trim it, right? But that's this thing. I should have done this a long time ago. Okay, so let's score. Let me find my scoreboard back here. Now let's just score us a half an inch. Um, my daughters, all three of them, are on a flight. They're leaving in a, about an hour, an hour or two, and on their way here to visit us. So that'll be fun for them. Our oldest daughter is 27, and the twins, of course, are 21. And with COVID, they haven't really gotten out, and all their classes in college have been, you know, um, just with the pandemic, nobody's going anywhere my score blade is over at my desk <laughs> and i'm not going to waste time going to get it so you can see you can not score my my burnishing tool so anyway let's see if the glue comes out i haven't crafted i've been playing the piano i was mesmerized yesterday with that song i started off with a hymn called day by day i don't know if you know that um i had never heard it well that's not true because i looked in my I, I don't know what got my brain, but I went to sheetmusicplus.com, which I haven't been to in a long time. And um, it said, check out, there's music in your cart. And I'm like, what? And um, sure enough, there was music in my cart. And unbelievably, it was day by day. I could not believe that. It was like crazy. I'm going to use score tape because my glue is stuck and I don't want to waste your time or mine going to find it. I may regret this. <laughs> but I will break after I do this and go find my proper tools. I do have this. This is nice. Okay, we are going to carefully... 
I wouldn't recommend doing this with score tank. We're just going to shoot for the middle and stick it down in between there, right? Should be a no-brainer. Somewhere in the middle? I'll go with that. I'm just going to push... Didn't I put my score tip on the wrong side? Did I... Have I said Becky's probably dyslexic? Good lord, if that's not just proving it right there. Okay. Sealed down. Alright. And I do think it's too long. So. Easy to trim off. We want it to... I'm going to take off a good inch or so. Maybe an inch and a half. Yeah, that'll be straight. Wow, that is so smooth. <laughs> okay. So, magnets. We'll just use the little ones. Um... See how they grab each other? And that's fine. I'm just going to leave them grabbed. We're going to put it on in the middle here. So I'm going to turn it over and just put the sticky side down. Push it down. Take the paper off of there. And just close it down. And I didn't think about something that I should have thought. You know, put my magnet was right here, the paper's right here, this one. And you certainly wanted to be over here, so almost messed that up. All right, so now when you close that, nothing's going to flap. All right, so that one, this one's going to be okay, but these two would be cute with magnets. I wonder if one would be enough. It would, it would be nicer with two. I didn't think I'm just going to use one. The magnets are expensive. But yep, my girls are going to have so much fun together. They, they live um, near each other, about 30 minutes away. But um, still, they don't get to see each other. My oldest one's married and the other two are in college. and Just be good to have them here. Take off the tape or the paper and just close it down. And I think one will be enough. By the time we mat that, it'll be fine. So open this one up and we'll do another one. Oops. Where did you go? You went back in. These little things, they like to fly around. <laughs> Take this off and close it down. Okay, was there any place else? No, that's just that. And this is the back. Okay, so just, yeah, that's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm gonna mat this with the black. I'm not even gonna take you through that process. I'll just show it to you when it's done because you know how to cut paper to mat. Alrighty, there we go. I wanted to just say a little something else. Uh, when you cut your mats, see like I just cut the one for there, always cut two at one time because you're going to need to cover the back as well. I don't know if you can see that, probably not in front, yeah. So you'll need to put one on the back, it's the same as the front. And the other thing I want to take back something I said in my video, I said that if I were going to decorate this al album I would do with the pages without them being in the book. And that, that still holds true, but here's kind of why I said that, see you're not working on a flat surface. Um, and this one will be even harder because it's just not a flat surface, but it can be done. Um, the one that I was referring to was a seven page uh, baby album that was much bigger than this. That was the first album I ever made and I did not finish it because I put all the pages in and it was so bulky. I just, it just, and I kept it for several years just as a sign. Don't do that. <laughs> So anyway, just I just wanted to take that back and explain why I said that. But a four-page album, I think I would be I'd be okay with that. But bigger than that, probably not. But that was the reason I said that. 
it's time for the walkthrough. I finished covering everything in black. It went pretty well. So let's just do a little walkthrough and I'll show you. Black paper, I'm telling you, like a little glue there, but when they put pattern, it'll cover it up. Alrighty, so that's why I did go ahead and matte in black because it covered up where um, the album had stuck together. I created just a few simple mats to put in um, the pockets and so forth. And this is where this is the one that stuck. No, this is not the. This is one we just we just made that magneted closure. This is the one that stuck. Remember, it stuck right in there, and it stuck either in here or in here. I don't remember where, but you know, it didn't bother the integrity of the page. It just made a mess. So covering it with black changes all that. And I of course made some little mats. You can journal on the back or put pictures or whatever to go in the belly band. And then there's that, and here we put off put magnets, and, and it did make the pages it, it's stiffer with the magnet. So it's not like the reason I said two is because I wanted it to be crisp, but it is once you mat it. All right, and there's our waterfall, and it just is covered up my little ink smudges if you can remember. And so again, I added a pocket here, and let me say adding this pocket creating it out of the book, covering it out of the book, and putting it in the book. Much easier. I like that a lot. So just again, just white paper with some black on it so that um, photos or whatever. Alrighty, I'm going to take a few days off. My girls are here. Um, we just have come through <laughs> Tropical Storm Elsa. I'm telling you, living on the coast is, is interesting. Um, there's a lot of mess outside. And uh, we lost a couple shingles off of the roof. What else? Um, some water got in the house. Weirdly. I mean, just like little patch of water two feet away from a window. Makes me wonder if it's coming up from the floor. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, my girls are having a good time. So it was a loud, loud night. It sounded like things were banging against the windows and the rain just pummeling against the windows. But... You know what? We're on the other side. Nothing's more beautiful than the other side of a storm. So be safe where you are. And thank you for joining me in this process. Any questions, please put them in the comments below. Um, I will get back to crafting in a few days once my girls have gone back to uh, Texas and um, get my swap in good stead. And all is good. So thank you, new subscribers. I really do appreciate everyone who's come on board. And uh, we'll have fun with this. You guys stay safe where you are. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.